Hello, my name is Ed and welcome to Team Lucid Dream. Today I'd like to talk to you about the chemistry in the brain and how this can affect your memory and how you lucid dream. Did you know that if you've had a stressful day, you are more likely to forget things? For instance, if you're rushing to get out of the door in the morning, uh, you've uh, got to get all the kids ready, you've had to grab your lunch and you're late for work and you slam the door behind you and you've forgotten your keys. Now all of that can be caused by the stress hormone which is called cortisol. Cortisol keeps your heart beating in stressful circumstances but it can have the added effect of reducing your ability to write short-term memories, meaning that you've got the kids ready got your lunch, you like for work, you've shut the door, but you've forgotten your keys. Now, you're going to ask me, what has this got to do with lucid dreaming? Now, as we've already discussed, one of the core principles of lucid dreaming is your ability to recall your dreams. If you do manage to go lucid one night, instantaneously, have a dream-induced lucid dream, a dialed, but you forget it, then what was the point? working full-time and you're in a stressful job and you're trying to lucid dream then the chances are that certain times of the year like towards the end of the month when the bosses are pushing for figures then your dream recall will be utter garbage the key of getting out of this rut is to relax I know listening to someone to saying relax to you whilst you're stressing out of your mind is the last thing you want to hear but please bear with me there are a few things that you can do to reduce your cortisol levels and increase your dream recall first thing on my list is meditation as i said trying to relax when you've got a million things rushing around in your head and your heart's beating like a freight train the last thing you want to do is relax but trust me sitting down with your eyes closed breathing steadily has been clinically proven to lower your cortisol levels by up to 20 percent that is huge two on my list is making a music mix music has an amazing effect on our brains and it releases so many chemicals that can calm us down up to 60 percent drop i'm going to say that again 60 percent drop in cortisol levels when you're listening to your favorite music now if you're planning a stressful event, if you've say for instance got the in-laws coming over for dinner and you set some music up in the background then it should make for a more pleasurable time, hopefully. Three on my list is drinking black tea. Now this is quite a surprising one but it does work. Um, at a university students were asked to perform stressful tasks and it was found that the students who drank black tea regularly had a 37% reduction in the rate of cortisol flushing through their systems so they're able to measure themselves a bit more fascinating stuff number four is having a laugh with your friends if you've got one of those friends who always likes to make jokes and laughs a lot go out with them go and have a cup of tea with them and your cortisol levels could drop by up to 39 percent number five another surprising one on the list is chewing gum if you're in a bind if you can't sit down and relax if you can't get a cup of tea if you can't call your mate up for a giggle just a bit of chewing gum in your mouth don't swallow it a bit of chewing gum in your mouth could reduce your cortisol levels by up to 12 to 16 percent in a bind sometimes that's all we all need i hope you've enjoyed the content we've put together for you today on team lucid dream my name's been ed if you like what you see don't forget to hit the thumbs up button down there and uh, subscribe to the channel. If you want to get in contact with any of the members of the team, hit up our website over at www.teamluciddream.com where we've got a for forum where you can contact any one of them, any one of us. <laughs> also, we're over at uh, a subreddit, uh, Team Lucid Dream. Again, if you want to contact any of us, we'll be on there. We're also on Facebook and Twitter. And don't forget, leave any questions about lucid dreaming that you've got down below in the comment section and Gio will get to them when he does his weekly Q&A session. Thanks for watching and happy dreaming. Mm -hmm.